so I don't know if I've lost uh, what I did already. I'm riding this mare here um, for a student of mine. It just, my camera keeps having issues, so not sure what's going on there. But she's anxious about being away from the barn and being riding out by herself. So when I sit still, she's really twisting and turning and that kind of stuff you just got to kind of it's like kind of like putting a kid in a corner you just got to take and put them in the corner and the biggest thing with these gated horses is just get them to to move out get them gating know how she'll do on this bridge if she's ever been across a bridge or not like I say she's really balled up and she won't gate so she's just won't settle down and go to work checking to see if she still had her boots on I'm just gonna ride around out here on their property and kind of see what she's all about I think she's mostly a bunch of bluff and bus um, and sometimes you just have to put them to work like crossing these ditches it'll make them think about where they're putting their feet go good girl so their property doesn't go that far right here I'm gonna take her right down here in this creek and Make her think about where she's putting her feet. We'll just cross this creek again. And any obstacles that you can kind of put in the way of a horse there, that is you know just antsy and doesn't like to be out on a trail by themselves keep their mind busy keep their feet busy um that's the best way to go see here's a double ditch i'm gonna take and just ride her right up here and then make her climb this hill very good so Ride this fence line here. A little old brakes in here. She's really got to think about where she's putting her feet. Maybe there's a way down through here. Here we go. If it starts to raining real big, I'm going to get out of this ditch. It might, it might really rain on us. Might have a flash flood. She really wants to dance sideways there because she thinks she's going back to the house. She don't want to take and turn square around. She's always traveling in her mind in that direction. <laughs> Evidently, there used to be an old barbed wire fence here. She's really not gating. She's just got a lot of tension in her body and really not paying attention, so. 
other horses over there are hollering, which doesn't help her any. She really needs to be taken out, you know, by herself on a trail away from where she can kind of smell her own <laughs> her own manure and her own home sites and there's a lot of creeks and a lot of canyons right here which I think are really good for for horses particularly when you're dealing with issues um actually I got a pretty good handle on her so there's a big old ditch right down in there but she's always kind of powering through and pushing on the bit and you know a lot of things i ignore because i'm kind of used to horses being that way so i don't really pay attention to them blowing and going too much You just have to, you know, just keep redirecting them and, and not be too picky on them. Um, I'm not asking a whole lot of her, just kind of redirecting her and putting her back in the corner, so to speak, until she does what I want. Heels are really good for these type of horses that have this issue. You put them on a hill, they got to go to work. Um, up and down heels, up and down slides, really good for them uh, to get that anxiety out of them, uh, get their muscles loosened up, and that's what I'm doing here with her. This is a pretty steep slide there. Like I say, she has had a stifle issue before. Um, I'm going to put her right down in this ditch here. She don't want to go, but she's going to go. I'm just going to ride up around these pinyons, these cedars. She needs a good 25 or 30 mile trail ride to kind of iron out some of her issues. starting to relax a little bit more under me I like that just about as far as we can go on this side I'll take her right back down through here I'm just going to ride her around now and you guys have kind of seen the gist of what I'm doing with her. Just putting her to work mostly. Making her think about things. So I'm up here on the opposite ridge away from her buddy and going is not as big a deal as setting still. So I'm just gonna take and just kinda get her to relax. <laughs> she likes to holler at that other horse and I'll just back her back up. And I'll do that about two or three times and then if she wants to just take and move then I'll just turn her in circles here. Face her a different direction. You just got to learn to be okay with being with me or being with a rider. You're all right, girl. 
instead of another horse. So sitting is just as much a part of of training as going is. I'll just turn her around here in a circle. And these horses don't like tight work as, as good as, you know, like a quarter horse or something like that. They're more goy. Um, so I just, I want her to sit here and kind of relax and kind of blow. She wants to just kind of take and walk off and she's nervous. And you could push this horse and push this horse and, and she'd get tired, but the next time she goes out, she'd be the same way. So there has to be a balance between going and just resting. And I think that's the biggest issue with a lot of hot-blooded horses is people push them a whole lot when they're on them and they don't teach them how to sit still. So I just turn her around here and I want her to move her shoulder through and she's not real good at it yet. There we go. And then I just relax. She wants to walk off. I'll turn around and I'll bring her right back to the same position. Just like that. I'm gonna back her up here. She really wants to fight the bit and get heavy on my hands and really not pay attention to my hands. So when she does that, I'll just kind of massage that rein and get her to give. And as soon as she relaxes, then I relax. I sit deep in my saddle. I just relax. And she wants to take off again. I'll do the same thing again. I don't mind her moving a whole lot. Bring her right back up here. I'm gonna bring her shoulder through. There we go. And relax. I might even back her up a step. There we go. She really wants to pull on the bed a little bit and get kind of hard mouth. Yeah, there you go, baby. Relax. Just learn to blow and calm down. She wants to be off. She wants to be going. She doesn't know how to have peace with just a rider. She doesn't know how to settle with her just a rider. She thinks she has to be with another horse. Anxious. And instead of going in a whole lot of circles here, I'll just turn her around, put her right back. Just like putting that kid back in the corner. When can I come out? Not yet. And I'll let her go when I, when I feel her relax a little bit under me. Um, being in tune with your horse and feeling their body under you, she's just got a lot of nervous energy. And what I'm looking for is for her just to kind of blow, release that tension, and, and calm down. That other horse over there is hollering for her. <coughs> I've seen these horses rare. I've seen them bolt all of a sudden. Um, that shaking right there is just nervous energy. She's wanting to go. She says, why can't I go back? And that's that's her place of, of rest. And I think a whole lot of it has to do with is when we ride them, we, we tend to push and then we get off of them and we release them up there. And I think just sitting up there on them is another good way to, to get them to relax with you. As I go back to the barn or back to the corrals, I will stop periodically and let her do this. This is the longest she sits still, so I'm gonna ask her just to go on. I'll ride her down through here, find another spot, and just get her to relax. She really wants to take off now, so just gonna let her ease on down this hillside, and just calm down, and I'll find another spot to do the same thing. Now I've come down to the bottom of the hill, and this is my next point where I'm just gonna sit here and just let her relax. I'm in the shade. And I'm not going to just go let her go straight back. And she's going to get more charged up the more we get closer to home. But I'm going to stop at intervals and just let her calm down and be quiet. She's doing really good right here. Being real proud of her. She's still looking up there for that mare. 
Usually the baby. Just letting her relax. So I think I'll let her go on because she's she's really sitting still. She's not as, as nervous. And we'll go on to the next point. So here I am. Another another little old checkpoint. And I'm going home a roundabout way. So I'm cutting around so I'm not riding directly straight home, which is, is really bad for these type of horses. Ride around circles. Spiral back home. Um, she don't want to sit still here. We'll just bring her shoulder through let's get her to stand still here and the more you can spiral back home and the more you can um you know not go a direct route home ride past home and come back another way uh sometimes it's kind of hard for some places some people but uh the better off these horses are going to be if you just let them go right straight back home then in their mind they kind of got what they wanted and uh, she's kind of braced up there. She's got it in her mind. She keeps looking back towards home. She keeps thinking about towards home. And I'm just taking my time getting there. If she sits still, I'm not a big one on, you know, that they have to be totally relaxed. But I want her to sit still and really pay attention to me. And... I try to talk to them as much as I can. Good girl. Get them comfortable with me. So now I'm gonna go on going back. I'm just gonna continue this all the way to the to the barn. So it's gonna be a while. I'll just take and I'll catch up with you guys when I get there. One of the other things I'll do, these horses that really like to go home, is I'll make them work for it. If they want to go home, I will do a hip out. And just kind of make them push that hip up and under them. You want to go home, you got to do it this way. So I'll take and I'll just push them, hip their head, get them off my inside foot, cause them just to kind of do a hip out maneuver. Same way to the to the right. I'll just they want to go that direction. I'll make them work at it so that it doesn't become as pleasurable for them as they think it's going to be. So I'll just kind of switch them up here and drive that hip up and under. It's really helping her back, helping that stifle. Getting off my inside leg, pushing that hip forward. Very good. Now I'm just going to war right here. Back her up. Just kind of hang out here. <laughs> I've got I've got ditches over here. If she gets too antsy, I'll put her through the ditches and back again. Um, really make her work some more if she's not calming down. If she ever learns that, yeah, we are going home, but we're gonna do it on my terms, then she'll be a whole lot better off. So the longer she sits still, the better off she is. Well, here we are, we're back up here at the corrals, back up the barn. And uh, I went back and forth with her bunch. I went roundabout ways, I spiraled out, spiraled back and uh, I didn't take her straight to the trailer or straight to her friend. I brought her over here away and I'm just gonna sit on here, sit on her here for a while and just get her to learn that just because we come back does not mean I'm gonna get off of her. Now, I will caution you, these type of horses, you can't let them come back to the barn and work them. Uh, that works on quarter horses and horses that are lazy. These horses here, Arabs, thoroughbreds, they're just gonna air up when you take them away to let them rest so they can come back and work some more. Um, the more you work them, the hotter they get. That's why I spend more time just sitting than I do working in circles. I'll turn them around, come right back and, and rest. You don't wanna just work these hot-blooded horses around, 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 because the hotter, the hotter you make them, the more you move their feet, um, the hotter you make them. So you just gotta take and work on sitting, relaxing, and settling. So now that I brought her up here, I want her to settle 
and she wants to go to that other horse she wants to go to the trailer but i'm making her sit here and i made her side pass all the way up the hill i made her hip do hip out maneuvers all the way up the hill even though i was bringing her back i made her work for it so pretty soon she'll learn uh with all the the ins and outs and the and the the spiraling in spiraling out that the only time she gets to come back is when i ask so i think she's i think she's done pretty good she didn't give me too many fits she was really balled up in the beginning but uh she's doing she's done real good so i'm gonna get off of her cool her out put her up ideally what I like to do when I bring a horse back from working or trail riding or whatever, I like to just tie them up. Um, tie them up and let them stand there. I don't like to give them a full release because the more you get in a hurry and you get off of them and you just go put them away, you know, let them go back to their buddies, the place where she was wanting to go anyway, the more they anticipate it so when i go out for a ride or i've worked a horse i'll let them stay tied up there most of the day when i get back now can't do that with her i don't have the time but i am coming back out here again probably next week on monday and i'm gonna ride out on this is all uh national wildlife maybe it won't be raining then and i'll get to ride her out on that a little bit more um maybe bring some saddlebags bring me some some snacks and a drink and uh hopefully get out here a little earlier and maybe spend you know most of the day with her uh and just get out there and just ride uh i forgot to bring my gps i don't know this area i don't know much about it so always a good idea to have a gps so but i think she did really well um she's getting better than she was well, when we first started working her that's for sure so i'm gonna let her sit here a while and i'm gonna unsaddle her and let her cool out and i got to get back to the house and uh take care of mine early this morning i went down and i got the other boys i brought them home uh just to be on the safe side until we can kind of figure out what happened to blaze um you know it's one of those things where accidents do happen but if it can be avoided we we sure want it to be avoidable uh, so we may have to go down there and ride around and just see what happened to him if we can do some investigative work but um, i had a pretty good day today getting to ride her uh, i like i like getting out and riding these walking horses i'm sure gonna miss blaze um he was a really good smooth ride he had a really good gait but uh, getting to ride her really, really kind of helped today. So, with that being said, I'm going to end it up. Remember, the soul world's getting crazy. And if you don't know which way to go, commit your ways unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He'll bring it to pass. We'll see you later.